We're never afraid of what we know. For whatever reason, uncertainty strikes at our deepest fears. But if you're willing to sacrifice, willing to ride those emotions, if you're committed to the journey, to the uncertainty of what's in store, committed to your brothers, there's nothing you can't accomplish. It's our willingness to sacrifice for each other that defines us. Not as individuals, but as brothers. You can never predict the events. You can only be a part of them as they unfold. And as these events unfold, they will remain forever a part of us. Spikes, one was at 90 and one came in to, turns out it was 50 or less. I arranged a tree, thought he was past that tree, and he flinched, went right over his back. They took off. I think the rest of the herd was already gone. I think he picked up his cows and headed for the hills. So we think they went that way. So we're going to head that way, I guess. Got my turn, so Josh is up. First, we did the run and gun. That didn't work, so now we're doing the snake. Bull just screamed, we were gonna go get water, gonna go eat, and then he, he bugled. This happens every time. Can't get food around here. And he just chuckled and bugled, so we think he's ready. He's ready now.
It's a charm. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> Ty Beagle, he, I drew back and he looked at me like, what are you doing? And Ty Beagles and he just exposes it all and I just let it go. The one thing about us is that's what we do. We sacrifice for each other. Mm -hmm. And you have to be willing to do that. That behemoth. <laughs> like someone had a bad day. Thank you so much. Choked up. I'm glad. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad I got to call it in. I know. <sighs> kind of surreal, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's crazy. So you grow up hunting and that's that's what you're looking for. That's that's what, what dreams are made of. That's that's your dreams. And it's crazy to walk up and just see them there. It's, it's pretty special. It's awesome. It be any better. I'm so happy for you. That's incredible. After all the hard work today and missing the spike, it kind of give me opportunity to, again.
uh, you know, I kind of assumed the role as caller after that. I had my chance, and, and we all work hard for this, and, and we work as a team, and we play as a team. And so I relinquished, you know, shooter position, the right thing to do. And Josh took over shooter. I took over caller, <coughs> and it worked out pretty good. And he shot the biggest bull in the herd. Shot the herd bull. I did. I, I thought think. you wanted a spike. I did, but I don't but know. But what? I don't know. <laughs> Almost a mild camp, two and a half miles of the pickup, and then 1.434 miles to the road that we have to pack the meat to. So we got a lot of miles left ahead of us, heavy miles. Uphill, a lot of it. Um, going on 9.30 at night. We'll be back to the pickup probably by 11, hopefully, 11.30, and probably be packing meat at daylight. We do that for fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets lighter. It never gets any lighter. It's always heavier. Made it. It was painful. Very painful. It's all worth it. That Shed some blood for a brother. I got blisters, yeah, toes good. bleeding. Bull rammed me. At me. We're as close as we can get to that bull. Get it packed out tomorrow morning and hit the road. Our bonsai trip will be over sometime tomorrow night. A uh, successful six-point bull. Can't complain about that. Yeah, it's a long, 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 long weekend. It ain't over. Kill a bull, kill it closer to home or camp or the pickup. It does feel amazing. <laughs>